Hello everyone, welcome to Quantifiers. So in the questions for the day today, we are going to discuss two very good questions on arithmetic and another question on algebra. So before we move uh, ahead, this is the snapshot that uh, we are going to start with our crash course super soon. So if you have not joined us yet, this is the right time to join for you. Okay, so uh, let's see what the questions are. This is the first question. It says, a person went with flowers for worship to four temples and of offered some flowers at each temple. So there is some temple one, temple two, temple three and temple four. So there are four temples, right? Okay. He purchased enough flowers before entering the gate of each temple to make the number he had with him become double, threefold, fourfold and fivefold respectively at the gate of first, second, third and fourth temple. So what does that mean? This is let's say first temple gate. This is second temple gate, third temple gate and fourth temple gate. So whatever he had here, he doubled it here. Whatever he had here, he tripled that here. Here it was. Here it was four times. And let's say here it was five times. So he made the question, right? So uh, the number of flowers offered at each temples were 60. Okay, so he offered 60 temples at each and had no flowers remaining with him offered after, after offering at four temples. So when he came out from here, he had zero left, which means when he when he uh, devoted these five a flowers, they must have finished, right? Because five a flowers are 60 ke equivalent, then they will have zero left, everything was given. So a is 12. Which means he came to fifth temple with 12 flowers. He 12 flowers and he had 5 guna ke, yani ke 60 ke, aur sare ke sare and he came back to the temple. Now, when he thought that the 12 flowers are 12 flowers will be left in him. Can I say that when he was in the third temple, he had 60 flowers and he will be left in 12 flowers. He must have devoted these 60 flowers and thereafter he must have, he must have been left with these 12 flowers. Which means the flowers at this point before entering were 72 out of which he gave 60 to the temple and then was left with 12 which means 4z is equal to 72z is equal to 18. So he reached the temple with 18 flowers, made it 72, devoted 60 and was left with 12. Now from where this 18 is left, this 18 is left after he has devoted 60 flowers in second, right? Now since he is devoting 60 flowers here and 18 are left which means this number must be equal to 78, right? So 3y is 78, this must be 26, right? Yani ki 26 flowers ka hai hoga. Now, now the sequence is very simple. This 26 is left after devoting 16 the first one, which means yaha pe wo kitne leke aaya hoga? 86. So this 2x is equal to 86, to wo kitne leke pahuncha hoga? 43. So he must have started with 43 flowers, right? This is our answer. Let's see the second question. Kata hai? For how many values of P does the equation x square plus 3px plus 36 equivalent to 0 and x square minus 4x plus P equivalent to 0 have real roots? So x square plus 3px plus 36 is equal to 0. Right. This has a real root. So the real roots are D is greater than equal to 0. Discriminant. Right. Now, uh, P is greater than 0. I have to maintain this throughout that P is greater than 0. Let us solve it. So what is the condition of D? D is B square minus 4AC greater than equal to 0. Now what is the value of B? 3P. 3P square is 9P square minus 4 into A is 1 and C is 36 greater than equal to 0. So 9P square minus 144 is greater than equal to 0. So that is 3P plus 12, 3P minus 12, A plus B, A minus B. Now, if I, if I use the waving curve method, there are two critical points. P is minus 4 and 4. There are two critical points, right? I hope you all remember. I class in detail. Mein kiya tha ye. So, P is minus 4 and 4 which and greater than equal to 0, which means this region. Right? If I check out, apply the waving curve. Mm -hmm. Positive, negative and positive. So the region is minus infinity to 4 union 4 to infinity. 
right this is the complete solution but it is given to me that p is greater than 0 which means for the first equation my valid answer is 4 to infinity for the first one right applying p greater than 0 okay now let us solve it for the second equation that we have the second equation is x square minus 4x plus p is equal to 0 so it is 16 minus 4p is it greater than equal to 0 the so 4p is less than equal to 16 p is less than equal to 4 now p is positive which means for this question p is ranging from 0 to 4 and now i have to take the value of p in such a way that it satisfy the real root conditions for both the equations right so if i <clears throat> if i just take the combination of these two right the first one is telling me 0 to 4 the second one is telling me 4 to infinity so there is only one common point that is 4 itself which means there is only one value of p that is equal to 4 which satisfies my answer. So the answer to this question is 1. I hope the concept is clear to you.